Hi everybody, it's been a while since I've talked about the books I've been reading lately. Last time I talked about recent books I've read, um, my hair looked like this. It hasn't been a totally consistent reading situation just based on how busy everything's been with school and work. And, and it's kind of been like what I've been reading throughout while I read The Wheel of Time. With longer books, I really need to take a break. It can get stale when you're in the same genre all the time. At least it does for me. The first book is Forbidden Knowledge by Stephen R. Donaldson. This is the second book in the Gap Cycle series. It is very good. Uh, Donaldson, I think, is a kind of overlooked writer. He, he wrote um, the, the Chronicles of Thomas Covenant series in the 70s, I believe. I think what Martin was doing with this grimdark uh, fantasy stuff, Donaldson was doing with science fiction. The real story, the first one, is a very short um, kind of introduction to the series, especially graphic. Uh, content. So the second book, Forbidden Knowledge, is when things really shift drastically and it takes a slower pace. Something I love about this book and this series is that it's really taking these um, kind of space opera tropes and flipping them on their head a little bit. In the real story, she is rescued by this guy, takes her away from this horrible, horrible, you know, human. It's supposed to be a wonderful situation. Well, it's not. He's also horrible. Morn basically has been planted with a device in her head. It is like this remote that has total access to her brain. Infinite pleasure, infinite pain. It can take away the need for sleep. Basically, it takes away your willpower. She's in control of the remote through most of the second book. It's kind of like a superpower. There's just so many moments that blew my mind, that had me going, how is this happening? It's, it seems so ridiculous at some points that it's like, this shouldn't be readable. Yet it is. It's just amazing. And I've been kind of waiting to start the next book because I have so much other reading to do. Really excited to read A Dark and Hungry God Arises, the third book in the series, and also like the best book title ever. Another book I read, and uh, you guys know I love Elmore Leonard. I love um, his type of crime fiction that is like funny and fast paced and very dialogue heavy. Before he got known for crime writing, he wrote Westerns. This is just an excellent revenge story called Valdez is Coming. Ta town constable in Arizona. I think it's in Phoenix, actually. Valdez is a very good guy. He's trying to get compensation for a woman whose husband they wrongfully murdered. Valdez is repeatedly humiliated and eventually they tie him up to a crucifix and make him walk and then they tip him over on his back and he's just like left in the sun to scorch and fun just seeing this one person go up against 40 guys. It explores a lot of the racism at the time. What I really love about Elmore Leonard's Westerns especially, there's a lot of interest in people who were like marginalized or on the fringe of society back then. People who weren't represented well in the, you know, like Western media or whatever. I read The Great Hunt. This was a while ago. I have a dedicated review for that, so I'm not going to talk. Uh, I'm not going to talk anymore about it. We'll say I don't think I liked it as much as The Eye of the World, but I did very much enjoy it. And one of the crime books that I was really interested in reading was called The Hunter by Richard Stark, which is a pseudonym for Donald E. Westlake. So Donald E. Westlake was was a crime writer. Famous series was the Dortmunder series, but he wrote under a ton of different pseudonyms. Uh, Richard Stark was probably his most prominent one where he wrote the Parker novels. Huge series. It's funny, Stephen King used Richard Stark for inspiration when writing The Dark Half. It's the pseudonym for the writer in The Dark Half is Stark, I believe. Stephen King's a fan of uh, Westlake, so I decided to give him a shot. Also, Westlake wrote I believe he co-wrote the, the movie, um, The Stepfather. Yeah, it's very brutal. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's very much of its time for sure because there's a lot of stuff that's like, oh no, this would not fly today. The character Parker is so sociopathic. Like you want to be really excited for his revenge and you do because he's wrong. It's a story about a, a thief who was, you know, wronged and left for dead. And he basically comes back to life to take revenge. And all he wants is to take revenge. But the more you read the story, the more you read like, oh, he was asking for this. <laughs> like he was going to do the same thing to him. Hypocrisy. While he's trying to take his revenge, he'll just like accidentally murder a person. What can you do? <laughs> gotta take my revenge. In some ways it reminded me of like Michael Myers in a way because he's so emotionless, single-minded purpose. Crushes people with his hands. When I saw how many books there are, I'm like, how could you write this character this many times? So real quick, I just wanna cover what I'm 
currently reading uh, The Hot Rock, which is by Donald E. Westlake. Westlake was trying to write another Parker novel, but it was too silly. He was like, I can't really write this. This isn't really a Parker book anymore. So he decided to write as Donald Westlake. We know with humor and books and funny books, it's kind of, it can be hard sometimes to find a good balance. But um, I really enjoy the, the humor in it, so I'm going to keep reading it. It's called The Hot Rock. Currently reading The Dragon Reborn. Also, Song of Susanna, I'm nearly done. I don't know why it's taking me so long. Song of Susanna is actually very good. I really like it. Oh, one I just started recently called How's the Pain? And I just, the opening scene of this book is so fantastic. It, it just opens so many possibilities. And it's a short read, and with a title like that, How's the Pain? So there's a few DNFs I want to talk about. Um, one is A Rage in Harlem by Chester Himes, I believe. I really liked this. Don't know exactly why I DNF'd. When there's so much other stuff that you're reading, sometimes it just, things fall by the wayside. I do want to finish this one day. It's very depressing, actually. That's part of what was maybe harder to get through. The Chalk Circle Man, which is by a, another French crime writer uh, called Fred Vargas, has some of the most interesting, funny, and unique dialogue I've ever read. I'm definitely going to finish it. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been reading. I hope you are all having a good reading time of the year. I feel like my reading always drops off near the end of the year and picks up in January just because of how busy things get. Yeah, have a good one.